the Lord began to teach me recently because I was studying Psalm 8 from verse 4 where David said what is man that you are mindful of him and the Lord asked me a question he said if I tell you to draw man what will you draw <laughs> I went into my, my biology <laughs> and as I started thinking along that line he now asked me is it the physical man you want to draw the spirit man as I was contemplating, he now asked me, or is it a compound man? Now, this is God trying to use my language to help me. There is a physical man that is looking the way you and I are looking. There is a spiritual man that has different things in him that you can't see. For example, all of us sitting here have horns. <laughs> I know you think it's the devil that has horns. When the psalmist say, my horn shall thou exhort. He's talking about a spiritual reality. <laughs> you will call it a metaphor. You don't understand. When you see, that's it. It's in the angelic order. Their full shape is revealed. So you can appreciate their glory. But you see, the reason our full shape is not revealed is because the Lord decided to hide this glory in earthen vessel. So even in eternity, they won't show us completely. But if they show you who you are, you'll be ashamed. You'll be afraid. When he said you are dangerously, fearfully, and dangerously made, it was not a metaphor. Some of us here have wings. Wings. Some of you here, your garment is fire. Some of you, your garment is light. If you see your spiritual essence, it will shock you. And you will know you have not entered your reality. When he said out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water, you, if God begins to open the layers and the compartments of man, you will be amazed. But you see, a theologian will call it metaphors. You don't know why one person is talking and his voice is watering nations. And then you are wondering, what's happened? It's a river. Something has been unlocked. And so whatever he carries and says will come with so much pressure that a generation must respond to it. Because something has opened. And then God, and that's the spirit man. God now said, how about the compound man? Because the compound man cannot be differentiated from the Holy Spirit. It's a him that is joined to the Lord, is one spirit with him. So if you want to draw that man, who will you draw? May God give us understanding to find who we are in time before we live here. Yeah.